Grizz here, and today we are going to talk about Victorinox Phillips screwdrivers because uh, I I saw I see an interesting comment once in a while, and I wanted to put it to the test. So first of all, we all know that Victorinox they have a variety of Phillips driving options for all your Phillips driving needs. Uh, primarily, we have the 2D Phillips tip on the end of their patented uh, can opener. Then the uh, second tier would be having a backside Phillips, like this one, although these did vary. Some had a file, some didn't have a can key. Then they got, they became round around 84 or so, um, but same idea. And then later on, we got the inline Phillips. Now, anytime a discussion comes up about a certain uh, overly hyped, super popular uh, Victorinox model, uh, this guy, the compact, uh, there's always that one guy that has to say, well, it doesn't have a Phillips head. And there's always that other guy that has to say, yeah, man, I drive Phillips screws all the time with the corner of the combo opener. And when I see that, I'm like, okay, listen, I've driven a lot of Phillips screws. Hell, I've even done it like this. I've used a regular flathead driver. Use the corner of it to get a screw out. That might work for a screw, but if you had to do that more than a few times, you would quickly decide I need something with a Phillips, uh, Phillips driver, a proper one. Um, so that's what I intend to dedicate, uh, to, uh, demonstrate here for you today. I'm not saying that's not something that's cool in a pinch, but to go and telling people that it's a feature of the knife, that's pushing it, bro. Pushing it, man. Those damn knife nerds. So today I've got one of my fuzz pedals. This is a bomb lobotomy fuzz. It was custom made for me. Very mellow pedal. Perfect if you're going for like a Seals Croft, Steely Dan, you know, mid 70s yacht rock mellow kind of thing. Totally does that perfectly. Uh, you can tell by the graphics. But anyway, the important thing, it has four Phillips screws on the back. So first up, we're going to try a little experiment. I'm not going to time this or anything. We're just going to see. And we've got to factor in the fact that I'm doing this around my camera in an awkward position, not in the position I would normally be doing it in either. So that's going to make... Wow, that was really easy. It was almost like that was designed for the job it was doing. Okay, cool. Next... Let's try this guy. Now, I will admit the little, uh, the suspension clip gets in the way, but that worked just like I would have wanted it to. Now, uh, for those back, for those back door men uh, in the crowd, let's try backside fill here. Now, we all know what the problem with the backside Phillips is. It's spinning the whole damn knife around like a retard. It's great if you got to break something loose. You know, these T things are designed for like high torque applications, stuff like that, when you really got to break something loose. Then you switch over to a spinner, you know, something that's easy to spin in the hand. Uh, you'll see like professional mechanics have little socket wrenches, palm wrenches they can do and just spin it with. Or, you know, use like a, 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 a pneumatic tool like an adult or even a, a battery powered tool. So those all work great. Now let's get up to uh, the one everybody says is gonna work out just fine. It fits in there, okay. So, yeah, I mean, you could totally do this. Let's see if the other side is easier, if it lines up a little better. Yeah, that lines up, let's see if it slips out. It, this is just, yes, I can do it, but would I wanna do it? Hell no, I would never want to do this. This is like uh, the kind of crap that really gets old real quick uh, if you're having to do a job over and over. Like say I had to take apart a soundboard that had 16 Phillips screws on the back of it. I sure as hell wouldn't use that to do it. But, you know, if something had, like I have pedals that have one screw that holds a cover on, that'd be perfect, you know, if you didn't have anything else. But of course, if I had something else, I would go for that. I wouldn't reach for my... Uh, you know, my my beloved but much overhyped compact and ta-da we're in but um yeah so i just wanted to bring that up this is a short video a little public service announcement if you will that this is not a phillips screwdriver 
yes, you can drive Phillips screws with it. But, uh, you know, if you see somebody in a forum or something, Reddit, Facebook, whatever, and they're saying, uh, uh, my one concern with the uh, compact is it doesn't have a Phillips driver. And then you tell them, oh, it drives screws just fine. Don't. Just, just save it. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear it. So just keep it to yourself. And, of course, I won't keep it to myself because... Uh, Otherwise, I wouldn't have a channel. There would be no point if I just sat here quiet the whole time. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that is Phillips Screwdrivers in a nutshell from Victorinox and beyond. Did you know that other companies make Phillips Screwdrivers? Yeah, man. A apparently, anybody can make them. I, I know. It's wild, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peter Grizz out.